Financial realities must be taken into consideration when planning a dream wedding. With this in mind, Mela's style friend Shamari Mudley has come up with DIY ideas for nuptials that won't bust your budget. As a qualified and highly experienced accountant, Shamari Mudley knows exactly how to keep an eye on expenditure, while her inventive mind is adept at finding new ways of using everyday items in the world around us. She doesn't believe that beauty and charm are determined by a price tag, and she has a flair for transforming the most inexpensive objects into something priceless just by using her imagination and some basic handiwork. No matter which way you look at it, a wedding can put a dent in anyone's bank account. Today, Shamara is going to show us some tips and tricks to spice up your wedding day without breaking the bank. Shamara, I'm so excited to find out what you're going to show me today. Karishma, I have some of my best tips to ensure that you have budget bridal bliss. I think DIY is a perfect opportunity to add heart and personality into your wedding day and recruit all your friends and family to help you out. I completely agree. So Karishma, my cousin's getting married later on this year and I thought it's the perfect opportunity for me to get my flower power on. So today, we're gonna make a flower crown. I think we need to pick up some of our favorite flowers just to kind of finish this off. And then you need to grab one of these, which is florist wire. So the base is basically, I just used a piece of wire and I wrapped the same florist tape that we're going to be using now. You need to make a little hook on your wire and you need to wrap it around the base and you simply wind it around. Perfect. Good job, Karishma. So this is florist tape and is what we're going to use to attach our little bouquets onto our flower crown. And presto, we have our flower crown. I'm actually going to try this on. Beautiful. This is the one that I made earlier and we've entitled it Blushing Bride because I just love these indigenous flowers. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Shavara, how much did this cost you to make? This one's cost me under 30 rand to make. Wow. And it took me about 25 minutes. I've added a piece of ribbon because I think it just adds a little rustic touch. So Karishma, what do you think? That looks sweet. Well, on that note, I have some treats in the kitchen that I want to show you how to make. Those are words I love to hear. Let's go. They're go. budget and belly friendly, so let's go. So what's a wedding or festivity without some sweet treats? Do you want to guess what I'm about to make? These look like all the ingredients for decadent barfi. Listen, this is my mother-in-law's super simple, short and, well, sweet recipe for barfi, but I've given it the skinny makeover. What we have here is xylitol, and xylitol I'm using as a sugar substitute. It has 40% less calories, so I'm all for that. And then I've substituted the butter with coconut oil to bring in some healthy fat. And here we're using milk powder. You need to make sure it's a good quality milk powder and that it has no added sugar. Basically, you need to bring your water to a boil. This looks like a great recipe, and it also looks like it would be really easy to make in large quantities for a wedding or any occasion. Krishma, it is. You can just literally double the ingredients, get a team together, sit down, have a cup of tea, and make barfi. So Krishma, it looks like the water's starting to bubble, so I'm going to add my xylitol. And I've basically used a cup of xylitol to half a cup of water, because what I'm trying to do here is mimic your traditional sugar syrup. So you really want this to reduce down. So now that our syrup has reduced down a little bit, I want to add my coconut oil and just bring the whole mixture to a boil. And there you go. Boiling beautifully. I want to add my ilachi to my milk powder. Just give it a good mix. For texture and for crunch, I want to add a little bit of almonds. I think I may have about 50 grams in here. There you go. And it's time to add our syrup. If you don't mind, hold the bowl for me, please. Can you smell oh, the lachi? Smells beautiful. <laughs> so this needs a little bit of time to set. Once the coconut oil starts to harden, this will come together beautifully. So Krishma, it's time for you to now earn your keep. Would you just grab one of those molds and start filling? You'll see a little bit later on, a little surprise I'll reveal as to what we're trying to do with these molds. That's done. Mm -hmm. Now these take a little bit of time to set at room temperature. So I have a few tricks up my sleeve that will ensure budget bridal bliss. And if you wouldn't mind, let's go and see what I'm up to. Let's go. So Karishma, I've been busy baking all night uh, with this little beauty. What do you mean? Well, this over here is silicone because I've created a calorie-free cake. Ta-da! That is incredible. What is it exactly? Who doesn't want a multiple layer of fabulous cake? You want height, right? So, I've decided to make faux cakes. 
and I basically use some styrofoam and handy silicone. What an incredible idea. And I'm assuming we're topping it off with this. Uh, this baby right here is your typical supermarket store-bought cake. And it's essentially a naked cake already. So easy, right? I have chocolate shards, which are very big, totally easy to do. Again, some of the leftover flowers from our crowns. I'd like you to just paint on some melted chocolate. I'm gonna quickly go and pop out those barfi things we were working on earlier. Perfect. Karishma set about transforming the off-the-shelf cake into something unique. And voila, Karishma, check out our little barfi wedding cake. That is adorable. Oh my goodness, you've done a great job here. Yay! Wow, yay. I'm most pleased. Okay, so do we put this on mm -hmm. top of this? Yes. Okay. I think my barfi cake's looking a little plain. Maybe I want to add a flower. What do you think? Perfect, let's mm -hmm. do it. We didn't get a chance to use my gold coat here that I took ages to spray. It needs to have its time in the life. Shamara, thank you so much for today. All this wedding DIY makes me want to get married again. I think I might have to join you, Karishma. I think it's time I renew my wedding vows. Once again, Shamara, the creative accountant, has shown how a little imagination can keep your budget in the black.